start this Zoom thing. Yeah, I know. Yep, uh, I'm bored too. But we're gonna go play some. Yeah, we'll go play some frisbee golf. Excellent. I got a new fresh beer here. Gonna slam a couple during class. I'll just shut off my camera. They won't know the difference. Right. All right. All right. I'll see you in a few. Yes, I'm gonna cut class early. It's Friday. Come on. I don't even want to be here. All right. Cool. All right. Let's turn this thing on. Oh, hey, it's on. All right. Well, hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy Friday. Woo woo. And it's 31 people here. And uh, oh, I. Hmm. Uh, that is the taste of deliciousness. Sorry about that. Looks like I was talking to a few of my homies before class started. You don't have to worry about that. I would never say anything about you. That would that was negative or rude. Uh, oh, I just didn't. I yes. All right, show your faces. Where are we today? There's only three, two people. Three people. We've got 32 people here. It's uh, Deviance Day. Ah, oh, that's right. It's Deviance Day. That's why I dressed up for everybody. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, having a voodoo ranger. I, I can't think of anything uh, more patriotic uh, for living in Fort Collins. Maybe if I was riding my bike around my living room. Uh, so good. Good to see you all today. Oh. How's it going, everybody? How you doing there? Is anybody around? Can you hear me? Is uh, is the is this on? And I need to lean in here. Should I show my really old? This is my really old tattoo, but that just shows you that I was a Mandalorian way before anybody else. It does need to get touched up, though. The only color it has on it are like my ginger freckles anymore, and that's just not cutting it. All right. Well, hold on. Oh, got another cup, another text coming in. Hold on. Trying to set up a maskless frisbee golf tournament inside trying to do something um safe let me can so, um, all right all right all right got some messages sent uh how's everybody doing any questions on this friday uh i hope we are all in uh party mode today um or maybe even better yet, really better yet, would be for anybody who's actually skipping class today, since we started with the Deviance chapter. I think that uh, props to those people not being responsible for once, for once, right? Uh, so I don't feel like answering any of your questions. They're uninteresting to me today. Um, no offense, it's not you, it's just your entire generation kind of just put me off a little bit. Uh, just, uh, you know, my son was like, I was like, I came up, it was like 3 a.m. last night. And I'm like, get off the PS5. It's time for me to get poggers. And he was like, dad. And I was like, you're grounded. And then I was like, should we drink some beer together? You're 12. And we were like, yeah, we... no, but I, I wouldn't do, that. I would never do that. I wouldn't do that. And again, as it seems like it, it always is on these chapters on deviance, my dominatrix outfit at the dry cleaners. And let me tell you how tough that is to get dry cleaned during COVID. Pretty, pretty tough. Um, I don't even know if you're supposed to dry clean leather, frankly. Uh, maybe somebody, now I'm thinking I dropped it off a while ago. They may have just stolen it, taken it someplace. Well, anyway, how's it going in your life? I don't see any chats, so no questions really. Is anybody playing beer pong right now? Is anybody? I don't really understand beer pong, if, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, I came and, I, and I, I, I think binge drinking is horrible, very deviant. Um, but, uh, but my generation just stood in a line and drank the whole beer at once. And then we went and got another beer. There was none of this playing around with ping pong balls for any amount of time. So I don't really understand that. That could just mean that I'm old and deviant. Uh, there are many things I got on the happily <laughs> It'd be better if you had a voodoo ranger with you. Well, actually, I'm engaging in a little underage drinking since I'm only 20. So hmm, probably broadcasting this is going to get me in trouble. Um, uh, anyway, well, yeah, that's all I've got for today. Didn't plan on really having anything thoughtful or educational whatsoever. Was just going to live stream me drinking some beer. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, just, I can't keep, keep that up for too long. These are though, these are my shades, which 
I think from a certain point of view can be considered deviant. Maybe because they're so huge, maybe because it's just me and 80 year old folks in Loveland that wear these glasses. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure though, at the last time I got pulled over by the police and, and I was like, you know, the car smelled like weed and the cop was like, he just let me go because I had these on and some gray in my beard. So, you know, no big deal. Oh, I'm absolutely lying to you today about all of this. Of course, you know that because this is the chapter in Deviance. And if I was telling the truth, then I'd probably be in trouble. But maybe. No, wait. All right. Oh, whew. Well, it's kind of bright out. I will take those off. Oh, I do have my samurai bun. But see if that, if I don't tilt my computer. Now I've got a lot like taller clearance. So if I go like this, if I go like this, it's almost like I'm bald. And if I go like, <laughs> if I go like this, or we're at full. And yeah, I didn't call it a man bun. I don't need to gender identify with it. It's a samurai tail. And it's look out when you see one of these, because usually, historically, if you saw one of these coming, that might be the last thing you ever see. No. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. Well, time to get into the next one. And we haven't accomplished a whole lot here today. Uh, what chapter is this even? That is not a samurai, but oh, it is. <laughs> Mildly horrifying. Mildly horrifying. Chapter six. Thank you. Um, uh, where are we today? Well, at least, oh, there we go. Okay, so questions for today. I guess let's start off with this first one. How deviant do you think your teacher is? Before I answer that question, though, I'm going to go have a drink and let my dog in for a second and enjoy some sunshine. I'll be right back. I feel like people who carry around small dogs are deviant. So maybe I should have put I should have put Boba in like a little carrier, like maybe, or found like a, a Louis Vuitton purse that that would be like the appropriate size for it. Oh, she's like 30 pounds. Ooh. Just lifting a little Boston Terrier to build some serious ginger guns. That's right. Uh, okay, so let me see here. What chapter was that again? Six. Yes, that's right. Uh, okay, so let's look at the question for today as uh, we start this chapter on stratification, on deviance. We're starting on deviance. And uh, so how deviant do you think your teacher is? Somewhat, 26. Well, thank you. Uh, very, only 11. And uh, not at all 10. Wow, not at all 10. I mean, who's trying to get a better grade? <laughs> right? right like because i'm pretty sure already this semester wait let me put these down it's reflecting off the light and oh whoo there we go now i can see that was the problem um yeah certainly uh certainly 10 people are defying reality i am somewhat deviant that's what most people think i'm just gonna that's just this is really it really says a lot more about you than it says about me, these answers. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Next question is, we don't have a next question. Let me find the uh, PowerPoint here and bring this up. And I don't know, I'm gonna skip over that. That's kind of boring. No, it's kind of boring too. Oh, that's too much learning. Let me see. Well, no, not that either. Uh, no, not that. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, let's start with the very first slide. That's right. I know a lot of decisions for a lot of, a lot of decisions for nothing. Um, okay, that's too much learning. What a mood. All right, right. All right, so here is uh, here's our deviance piece. I don't know, we've got a lot going on in this. Um, somebody with a couple piercings, somebody on a skateboard. Folks at the Olympic. Uh, is that OJ? Oh my goodness, OJ, even OJ. For those people, like really, if you didn't live pre-OJ, the whole murder deviant thing, then you might not understand why people are like, oh, OJ. 
right? Uh, okay, so here we go. So let's start thinking about deviant. Uh, am I deviant? I asked you that question. Um, what does deviance mean? Uh, I've just decided that it's too bright up. There we go. Uh, how do we define deviance or deviant behavior in our society? Why are some things considered deviant while others are not? Why consider the concept of social control when thinking about deviance? Why are some people considered deviant and others not? Uh, wow. Yeah, these are all excellent questions for us to start thinking about. Um, so the question is, whoo, just a whole page full of wild. Check it out. Um, okay, Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent needs to find some clothes. That's just what I'm going to say again. OJ made two of my slides. Wow, OJ. Uh, so are you deviant? And of course, this is one extreme, right, potentially of deviance. Um, and then there's all sorts of in between. And then there's even more extreme than this, uh, believe it or not. So if I ask that question to all of you quickly, let's go over here. And this is a computer and there we go. Okay, are you deviant? Um, yes, some 32 people. Yes, lots, uh, eight people. No, not much, seven. And this is impressive. This might be the first semester ever where zero people said not at all. Usually there's a handful of people that either would like to think of themselves as not deviant at all or truly believe that either way, right? Completely false. So it's good uh, that we are all absolutely at least identifying ourselves as somewhat deviant, right? All right, so please type or uh, please type one behavior um, that you, okay, so these are two different questions. Eh, we're gonna come back to these later. Forget those questions. I'm gonna jump around today because of deviance, because I can. Uh, oh, hey, have they lifted the fire restriction yet in the county? I wanna have a bonfire sort of out back today and I'm just, let me Google that real quick. No, no, I'll finish this up, sorry. Let me get back to this. All right, uh, screen share and this, and then we're gonna do that and, all right. So let's look at deviance a little bit. So. Does everyone, regardless of race, run the same risk of being sent to prison if they engage in illegal drug use? Um, and I see some folks shaking their heads, no. And we know this, and this is by, uh, this is by a lot. So here, and, and really this is quite interesting, and this is older now uh, by a bit, but share of all users of illegal drugs, okay? So 66% um, folks that are non-Hispanic whites, self-identifying and 60 and then 12.6 percent of African American. Now, share of, excuse me, inmates in state or federal prison must, of course, convicted of drug offenses be proportionate, right? Because we know that this is the land of the free and super equal and go team. Um, so as we look at this, we see, no, no, um, a uh, share of inmates in state or federal prison for convicted of drug offenses, non-Hispanic white is only 30.4, African-American is 50.5. If you're going to look at, I mean, the share of all illegal, you know, use of illegal drugs, and then we're talking about the total percent of the population, African-Americans about 13%, and represented yet in prison at a, at a pace of 50.5%. Um, I, where do we begin to talk about the deviants? Because really, this semester, I want us to sort of understand that deviance is one of these things that really, really makes me mad when I talk about Star Wars. Because as I've said before, deviance is completely from a certain point of view. Yes, right? You told me, but but I but he is my father. Well, not really. Okay, so he's totally totally your father. But at the time, I was thinking not so much because you know, look, it's a bad look when I walk away from my best friend and he's dying. Anyway, let me. So let's start over here. So right. So of course, a lot deviant going on, and of deviance, it matters who's defining the deviance. It matters with the two biggies that we've got all semester long: power and access. Right. Also, I'm not a crook. Um, I am. I am. When I was 13, I stole gum from a gas station. I did. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, 
I'm going to admit that little bit of deviance to you today. That's about as deviant as I am. I know, I know, Jason. Stealing gum from a gas station when you were 13. Somebody lock me up, please. Um, but this is a very serious thing because we know that folks that are, you know, of European descent are more than twice as likely, you know, to be carrying the drugs and people of color are twice as likely to get stopped. We know furthermore that that's a huge thing. And the definition for um, prison when we're doing it sociologically is the total institution, okay? So we know that I think everybody in jail, the percentages would be like, what, 69 to 74% of people in there for nonviolent drug offenses. So even in this one category, if you are massively disproportionately targeting people of color, uh, you've just changed the outcome of so many things. Um, very unfair and, and of course, you know, completely deviant. But uh, for, for a long, long, long time, the people throwing those people in jail, making those laws seen as not deviant, seen as like doing society a favor. How has that changed in the last 20 or 30 years? We'll talk about that. All right. So here we go. News flash. Woo. Whoa. That's C. That's the catfish posse. That's because my dad and I sit on a river for a week and we catch catfish and it's awesome. And we let them all back and we're deviant fisher people because my dad's allergic to them and needs to wear gloves to even touch them to get them off the hook. And I know what's in the river, so I won't eat them. So we'll go back and we'll be like, yeah, we caught like 50 catfish today, which we do. And we don't even have to like lie about being fisher people. And so we get back and they say, well, where are they? And we're like, well, they're here. We took pictures of them. Like, well, where are they? And I'm like, well, he's allergic to them. And I just, I just won't eat them. So we threw them all back. <laughs> right for people that are sustenance fishing that's deviant um so let's see news flash i am deviant confessions of a sociology teacher oh, oh i have a i have a huge announcement for everybody on monday i have a huge announcement it's huge y-u-g-g-g-e-e-e -G -G -E -E. and it has to do with the food drive yeah and you getting famous all right, um, but today speeding, yeah, yeah, I was in my car. I was in a 30 mile an hour zone. I was going 45. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Yes, crazy. Uh, school dress code, I don't know. I feel like sometimes even though I try to wear teacher shirts, today I'm somewhat outside of that mode. And even when I'm on campus, I don't have the pointy expensive leather shoes that I would probably like and I'm jealous of that a lot of other 40 year old adjunct teachers have. Well, anyway, I also don't have that nice leather briefcase. Is it jealousy or is it deviance? All right, eating organic. Is eating organic deviant? I mean, to some people, to some people, yeah, right? Yeah, hippies, right? With all that money, throwing it out the window on a bunch of garbage. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say that. Hates my cell phone? I do, I do, I hate you. Um, listening to gangster rap? Now, you might think this is just a joke, the way I'm dressed today, but uh, no, I listen to Snoop for Shizzle, 1990 Drizzy. That's what I'm talking about, little Big E, little Tupac, little Pac too. That's right, and so definitely some Dr. Dre. I was a little worried about a month ago when Dre uh, had the aneurysm, but we're all good, we're all good. So Death Row Records, all about that. Uh, and being a liberal, a liberal. Is that deviant? Can being a liberal, can being pro-environment and pro-healthcare make me deviant? If so, then sign me up. Woo, I'm on it. All right, in the past, underage drinking. I just, I have nothing to say about that. Uh, Anti-war protester? You bet, I was one of only two people in my high school to protest the Gulf War. Uh, cohabitation, that is what my parents would refer to as shacking up. Uh, I, that would be, you know, before marriage, getting an apartment, living together. Oh, what's going on? I did. Uh, pot, I'm sure what that is, a gardening reference. Oh, cannabis, cannabis, yes. Cannabis uh, did inhale plenty every day, every drizzle. Um, Premarital sex and theft. Wow, I'm an awful person. Um, anyway, in the future, <laughs> who knows? 
I'm not something on my tractor. Wasn't it in Colorado where that guy got like on his tractor or some armored vehicle and started driving around like South Park or some college town? And I, th I think so. I can only hope that I can aspire to getting on my tractor someday and just running it all over Laporte. I'm just excited to find out who knows what deviance is left. The last time I did get pulled over by a police officer, he looked like he was 12 years old. I mean, really, like, honestly, I think probably I could start some trouble with the police at about any time. Well, who knows? And I'm also going to run for mayor. Oh, bulldozer. It was a bulldozer in Granby. Thank you, Samantha, for that on top of the information uh, as far as my, my future dream. Hometown. Yes. Well, I can only aspire, really. Um, okay. So all of these things, though, get us to the point right of this and you probably are too okay and that's not just me casting judgments but if it's deviant today or while i'm lecturing during this chapter to cast judgments then i will judge away that's why i didn't like small dogs for so long oh my gosh i was so judgy about small dogs now i've got a boston terrier and i like carry a tiny dog everywhere it's ridiculous all right, so Jerry Simmons' study took a random sample of people and asked, who do you think is deviant? Um, and the results, right, were, there's at least 252 different answers, okay? And so I'm just going to, you know, I got over 200 past this list, but just let me read them. Republicans, prostitutes, draft dodgers, alcoholics, addicts, murderers, mentally ill, communists, atheists, liars, tack dodgers, Democrats, reckless drivers, the retired, the elderly, career women, working moms, divorcees, homosexuals, Christians, Muslims, movie stars, strippers, pacifists, bridge players. Bag it up, son. What? Bridge players? Okay. I'm going to tell you a story now about my grandma. And please don't pass this on, even though I'm putting this on the internet. So when Barbara, Barbara was uh, evergreen, she was a Colorado, diehard Colorado, ate her organic food, drank her beer, which was not organic, and stayed in Evergreen as long as she possibly could till she needed to go to a home where somebody could help take care of her. So my mom said, come to Freeport. I will help take care of you. You could be in the home, but I'll be the sort of sibling that's going to take charge. And after Barbara was there like a year, the it, my mom got the strangest call. And it was a call from the people uh, that ran, ran the home. And they said, we just want you to know that Barbara is the model resident here. And my mom said, okay, thank you. And she hung up and my mom, my mom called me and she's like, what is going on? My mom is not the model anything. Barbara's a troublemaker. Barbara likes to drink. Look, as a mom, once you were out of the womb, Barbara was like, I'm done with you. Okay, so I love my grandma, but she wasn't like snuggly grandma. She was like, I got to do things, smoke my cigarettes, drink that's pretty much my plan for the day and i'm gonna like say something salty about people and then i'm gonna eat some organic food and drink a little bit more anyway so we heard she's the model resident okay fast forward about six months and my mom gets a phone call Bring. uh we've got some problems here at the home with barbara <laughs> and she's like well what's that and they say well she had this group of friends and they were super cute and they would sit out on the veranda and they would drink their little lemonades and they would play bridge and it was just the cutest thing and they have these special hats and everybody loved them and then we found out that your mom was hiring our underage person that worked there to buy uh endless amounts of vodka for her and her friends <laughs> and yes barbara was giving good money real good money to that underage guy in Freeport to get her vodka for her and her pals. I don't even know what she must have tipped him. I bet it was good. Um, and then those little parties were broken up. Oh, but for a year and six months, Barbara was the perfect resident and, you know, really quite drunk. So yes, bridge players too, priests, liberals, disabled conservatives, uh, the disabled comma conservatives, girls who wear makeup, executives, hipsters, know-it-all students, the homeless, and know-it-all professors, uh, to say a few. So look, the idea here is, and of course, you know, I'm joking today, I'm just messing with everybody. And, and, and that is that if it seems like out of sorts, if it seems totally normal, then it might be deviant because it depends on who's doing the defining, right? Like, honestly, 
I, I think, and I know that I get on this semester, I've been a bit on Texas, right? But if you're really gonna go to CPAC and make a joke about the weather in Florida after you try to flee your state while people were freezing to death, I'm gonna say that's deviant. For the people in that audience of that speech last Sunday, it was normal. So that's what we have to understand. Somebody's gonna look at me going out on my farm and killing a chicken and putting it upside down on the cone and cutting its throat and all that and be like, that is deviant. I would never do that. I would never, and, and for me, it's like normal, right? So depending on a person's power, depending on their access, depending on their race and their gender and so many other like lists of who decides what, and is that fair? No, it's completely possible. I mean, what, it was some senator in Minnesota 10 years ago in a bathroom who was anti-gay and anti-drugs was, was arrested for soliciting gay sex while doing cocaine in an air, airport bathroom. For goodness sakes, folks, the people that determine the morals or the rules that you have to live by that get those people put in prison or whatever determine what is moral or what is deviant and what is not, those are definitely not the people that should necessarily be making the rules. And sometimes it is. And sometimes I look out at the faces of my students and I say to myself, you, 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 Social 100, should be making the laws. And then the environment would be fixed and we'd have health care and really things would get done and we wouldn't, right, right? So who is it? But maybe you don't have the proportionate amount of power. Maybe you don't have enough influence. Maybe you do, right? And, and, and it's situational. So I just wanted us today to get thinking about deviance. And one of the big things about deviance is difference, right? When I came on today, I'm like pretending like I don't know that the camera's running, talking to a friend on the phone, drinking a beer, like not like whatever, don't even know what chapter we're on. Even if I had just done one of these things, even if I had just done this, <laughs> all this right here and started to lecture to you, you'd be like, what the, what is going on? right? In the, in the background, there'd be something that makes it stand apart and makes it other, the other and different. And when we get into deviance, that is exactly what this is about. And that's exactly how we have to come to like, look at things from all those different ways. Some people are going to look at stealing and be like, no, that's not deviant whatsoever because that fortune 500 company gets a kickback for all of that stuff. They don't lose out on a thing. And some people like my mom, I can guarantee you, she never took so much as a penny of anything in her entire life because her set of values and beliefs and morals is much different than like yours or mine or other people. So um, that's where we are today. And yes, although it is deviant and although yes, you did show up here on a Friday, which I think is totally, 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 totally cool. Thanks for letting me have some fun. Will it be as weird next time? Yes, we're still in the chapter on deviance. Who knows what's going to happen next time? Maybe like ne maybe Monday, I turn this thing on. And it's like full house party. Just me and Snoop. And I don't know. Who's another famous person? Jack Black. Oh, wait, let me come up with who would be like in my party right now. Me and Snoop and Jack Black and... Paul Stamets, uh, he's like a, a nerd, and, and uh, Howard Zinn and Cornell West. Oh, I might start picking like academic people to party with now. Not even like, yeah, but everybody, but everybody thinks Seth Rogen, right? Everybody's like, I'd like to party with Seth Rogen. I don't want to party with Seth Rogen. He's boring. I want to party with Madonna. Yes, that's right. The Material Girl. Material, material, material girl. It's been a material, material. <laughs> all right that's all right that's uh, might be the only time i do that this semester so please be good people do good. dennis rodman oh i'm a chicago bulls fan are you kidding me definitely dennis rodman i don't yes i want to hang out with dennis and scotty and we wouldn't invite michael just so that he'd get mad enough to do something about it oh yes we would sound like aaron Rodgers. all right shit just got serious Okay, no, I don't ever want to party with Aaron Rodgers. I hate the Packers. I'm just going to leave it there today. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't come to uh, rustle any feathers. I just came to do the Super Bowl shuffle. Sorry, Lenora, what can I do for you? As a samurai bun. Thing. Yeah, what about it? It's not a samurai bun. 
at all. This? I don't care what you're calling it. It's not a samurai bun. It's not a hairstyle worn by the samurai. <laughs> well, then it's my Jedi bun. How about that? That's cooler anyway, because I want a lightsaber more than a sword. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm having a good time today. I hope you are too. Be safe. Be good people. Do good things. Mask up. Take care of each other. Don't be too deviant this weekend, but it is in the 60s. So get outside and get some fresh air um, and treat each other right. And yes, no, this isn't a samurai bun. And today we're going to step outside of the cultural appropriation of samurais because I'm just joking around. Take, uh, take this time to uh, get outside. Yeah, get outside, recharge your batteries and chill out. And, and if you have any questions about anything, what today there's, there's is there something due today, right? I think there is the little piece, the content assignment, uh, the, the, the uh, discussion closed the other day, next Friday's the test. So I'll continue on deviance on Monday and Wednesday, and then you'll be completely prepared. And uh, yeah, anyway, peace, everybody. I'm having a fun semester. Take care. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I just I love this class. Take care. Peace. Have a good one.